This is coral. And this, and that over there, this thing, all coral. Now, you may already know that each head of coral is actually a colony of thousands of tiny animals called polyps, which look something like this. But, even though they're separate animals, all of the polyps on a single head of coral are actually genetically identical, like human identical twins. Unlike identical twins, though, a coral polyp simply makes a copy of itself to create a new sibling slash neighbor. Now, if you already knew all that, you probably also already know that the rock making up these heads of coral is secreted by the coral itself. Over thousands of years, coral polyps take in calcium carbonate from the water around them and create a coral reef. But wait, there's more! There's more to a coral polyp than just coral polyp. In fact, as much of a third of a polyp consists of another species that lives inside the coral. That thing living inside the coral is called a symbiodinium. Symbiodinium are a type of dinoflagellate, and dinoflagellates, of course, are a type of algae. So instead of looking like this, they actually look more like this. Being algae, they can do a neat little trick called photosynthesis, wherein sunlight coming down through the shallow water goes into the coral polyp and hits the symbiodinium, which then uses that energy to build sugar. Some of that sugar leaks out of the symbiodinium, and helps feed the coral polyp. In exchange for that sugary treat, the coral polyp provides the tiny algae with a comfortable place to live and with nutrients that the coral filters from the water around it. Although the polyp does catch food on its own, it cannot survive without the additional sugar from the symbiodinium. But having millions of algae living inside it causes some stress on the coral, and a coral polyp can only handle so much. Like any friendly host, if it gets too stressed, the coral will eject its guests. This causes the coral to lose its color, so the process is called bleaching. Bleaching helps the coral survive short-term stress factors like like unusual weather or sudden changes in their surroundings. Once things return to normal, the coral polyp can bring symbiodinium back in and get back to their usual relationship. As long as ocean conditions don't change permanently, coral will be just fine.